going to talk about breaking down a butternut squash, something that's used a lot this time of year, and in our recipe of the month, the butternut squash soup. So you'll notice that it tends to have a slightly more bulbous part on the end, and this is where the seeds are, so that's the part you want to break down. So we're going to do two things. First, we're going to cut off the top, and we're going to cut off the bottom, because you always want a stable surface when you're cutting and how we're going to peel it is actually with a knife now you can see that it's kind of a thicker peel so you want to try and get all the way through that so let me so where you see orange you see this part right here still a little fibrous so you want to make sure to get beyond that part when you're cutting through the skin Just go around with the knife, try and follow the curvature. If you get some of that fibrous part, just keep cutting it. And if, as always, you want to keep your fingers out of the way of the hand that you're using to hold it. So there you go. There's that end. Here's the seeds. And we're going to take a grapefruit knife, which has those nice serrations at the end of it which makes it really good for scraping out that membrane -y part because it can be a little tough so just use that I told you it could be a little tough, but it's worth it because this is delicious stuff. Make soups, risotto, filling for your squash, for ravioli. There you go. So then you can cut that. It's getting really hard. I mean, we've got most of it out. And you have a bit more access to it that way. There you go. That part right there is really connected, so I'm just going to cut it off. And there we go. That part's cleaned. And then you want to do the same thing on this side. Again, you've cut off the bottom, so you have that nice stable surface. And just go down the sides. Trimming off that fibrous part if any's left over. And sometimes you might need to turn it over, and kind of trim around this way as well to get that fibrous membrane off. All right, and then you would just go ahead and start cutting however you want. If you're going to dice, and again, it's slippery, so just hold on to it with that nice overhand grip like that so your fingers are out of the way. You break that down and do whatever you want with the butternut squash. Thank you. Have a great holiday season.